Hi there folks, welcome back to Rich Reviews. So last Thursday night, and I know that you're getting this now, I happen to see at the Alamo Draft House, The Art of Self-Defense. This is written and directed by Riley Stearns. And as a star, Jesse Eisenberg as Casey Davies, a mild mannered accountant, who no one really knows is that as far as he's the type of guy who would rather copy a nudie magazine than rather just steal it out of the office. And so, one night, while he's getting dog food from the store, he's violently attacked. He's laid down in the hospital for a few days. Then he struggles to figure out what the next do with his life to pick up the pieces. And what do you know, he happens to come across a, a karate place. And I guess Jesse Eisenberg, when he first read the script, wasn't all that interested. And then he re regretted it again and thought, okay, I'm down with what this director has to say. And of course, everyone at this karate place calls the teacher sensei and i never seen this guy never heard this guy's name before so i'm not gonna do that there are a whole bunch of rules probably the main rule is don't have any of your don't have your shoes on the mat which i think basically every place jim probably has that there he starts to learn the ropes of karate and he starts off with a white belt and again this guy is nebbish enough to that he wants to create his own belt so when he's working he can probably show off an actual belt like that, which, again, I would never do that. But then again, hey, look, this is Jesse Eisenberg. And it starts to get a little bit darker every time. There's only one woman at this karate place played by Juno Temple. Apparently, this is set in an nondescript time. It really could be said anywhere from like 80s, 90s, even earlier 2000s. Of course, no one really met references. Fight Club, you know... Again, some really, really bad karate films are probably mentioned, I would assume. Here's the thing, folks. You're never going to touch the heavens for a fight club. I think this is a reasonably great film. No one's probably going to remember this a few years from now, like Fight Club. And although I think Riley Stern's attention is to make the world's most evilest dojo, and that evilest dojo is no longer Cobra Kai. He gets Casey into all sorts of trouble. But at least at one point, he claims to know, oh yes, I have the guy who possibly attacked you. On. He eggs Casey on to attack the guy. Now granted, is this the guy? Who knows? Clearly all of this has to deal with to toxic masculinity and how, like, personally, I identify a lot with Jesse Eisenberg, sometimes with his characters, other times not, but I would love to be him. I'd love to be hooking up with Kirsten Stewart or Emma Stone. Imogene Poots, I think, gets one really great scene in which he describes, oh yes, there wasn't a female locker room and so she tells the story of how she had to change and all these guys came into her room and she had to pretend not how to fight and then fought back in such great understanding. The audience with me was laughing up a storm with this. I laughed a lot. I I, I actually laughed even in the more inappropriate moments because quite frankly there are some moments where he's like, you're not supposed to be laughing at this, but I did anyway. Yes, the guy plays a sensei. He's truly off kilter. It's like... When we first meet him, he's like, I am going to... I wish I could fully move out and sort of explain to you how he does his moves when we first meet him. But again, the camera's right here, and I'm, I don't want to move it. When he talks to Jesse Eisenberg, character, what music do you listen to? Basically says, it's all contemporary. No, you listen to heavy metal music. Really, I wouldn't want to listen to heavy metal music because I think that ruins my ears. And really, and most men do not cry. I'm, I'm sorry, even if you're a highly sensitive man, you really shouldn't cry in public because that's just how it is. There is really one scene that I really was laughing involves a guy having this dislocated shoulder. I think that's really great. Not that it is great to have a dislocated shoulder and not having to come back to a dojo that you've been part of. Uh, so I'm gonna say about the art of self-defense. I'm gonna give this a leave work early because I really feel like I found a really great comedy I wish I could share with everyone. If it's playing in your area, I'd highly recommend that you go see this. So folks, the art of self-defense, have you seen this? What do you think? Please put everything in the comment box below, folks. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, or yourself of knowledge. I'll see you next time, folks. Yes, hooray.